Hey everybody, how are you all doing? I really miss you guys. I'm um, just here in the gym today to uh, teach you guys how to do a shoulder stand. Um, a floor skill that we teach in our lessons uh, that does require some strength and stability. So we're gonna take you through um, what's needed for a shoulder stand today. And then also we're gonna go through all the progressions to help you get the skill. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some rock and rolls. So we need to start in a tuck shape. We're gonna hold on to our hands and we're gonna just do five rock and rolls. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Fantastic, well done. So when we rock backwards, we need to make sure that our hips go right up off the floor and we have a nice round back. So we push our hips up and then come back into that tuck shape. If you guys can do that, we're gonna take it to the next level and we're gonna have our arms by our ears. So by doing this, we are having to use more of our tummy muscles. So we're gonna try and stay in that tuck shape and we're gonna do five more rock and rolls. Here we go. One. Make sure you really squeeze your ears. Four. And last one. Five. Fantastic. You managed to do uh, five rock and rolls with your arms by your ears. We're now going to take it to the next level and we're going to go into a pike shape. So we're going to have nice long legs. We're still going to have our arms by our ears. So we're going to stretch up nice and tall and then we're going to try and stay in this shape as we rock backwards and then we're gonna push our toes up to the ceiling, um, working towards that shoulder stand shape. Here we go. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna go do one for you. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So just make sure that you keep your toes together, you just keep your legs nice and straight and you're pushing your toes up to the ceiling. Sometimes we see children rock backwards and they just let their feet go back like that but that's not the shape that we're looking for. We're trying to push our toes up and just make sure that your toes don't go past your eyes, okay? So up, here we go, let's do five more. So ready, rock backwards. And one, two, three, four, five. Good job. Okay, so we've started to get into the shoulder stand shape. Um, we're gonna make it a little bit harder. We're gonna do our shoulder stand and then we're gonna come forward and try and stand up. So just before you try and stand up, you want to make sure that you bring your toes back into your, uh, sorry, your, your heels back into your bottom and then we're gonna stretch up tall. So we start in that pike shape. We're gonna rock backwards, push up and then Stretch up nice and tall. Okay, let's try that one again. I'll do it as slow as I can for you. Ready? Arms by ears. Okay, so have a go at that a couple of times. Just remember as you're pushing your toes up, you want to squeeze your bottom. Um, that's really important. If you don't squeeze your bottom as you push your toes up, um, your hips won't get flat, okay? So this is what it would look like if you didn't squeeze your bottom. Okay, so toes together, nice straight legs, push your toes up, and then as you fall down, you're gonna whip those heels in as quick as you can, stretch up tall, and then finish standing up. We're gonna take that one step further and we're gonna do um, the same skill, but we're gonna add a straight jump onto the end, okay? So we've got our starting position, which is a pike. We're gonna go up to shoulder stand, stand up and go straight into a straight jump, okay? So this is what it looks like. Now you have a go and we're going to try and do five of them. Off you go. Next up, 
we're gonna add a slightly more difficult jump. We're gonna try and do a tuck jump after our shoulder stand. First of all, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a tuck and then we're gonna have a little practice and then put those two skills together. Okay, so when you do your tuck jump, you want to make sure that you jump up and you bring your knees up towards your chest. Okay, so we're jumping, tuck, and then down again. What we don't want to do when we do tuck jumps is just um, bring our feet up to our bottoms, kicking them like this, okay? So it's the opposite, we're gonna bring our knees up in front so we can have arms up to start, swing down and jump, and finish, okay. Let's have a look in slow motion. Fantastic. We're going to put the two together. So we're going to do our shoulder stand and then uh, we're going to go straight into a tuck jump. Are you ready? Here we go. How did it go? Did you manage to get your knees up? We're going to have a go at one more. We're going to do a star jump this time. So after our shoulder stand, we're going to be stretching out into our star shape in the air and landing with our feet together. Okay, so star jumps look like this. Fantastic. Let's put it together with the shoulder stand. So we're going to sit down, make our nice L-sit, and then we're going to go backwards. Okay, and it would look like this from the front. Arms up by your ears. Good job guys, practice those. Um, I hope by the time we come back to the gym, you guys can all show me some fantastic shoulder stands. I'm looking forward to seeing them all. Take care guys, bye bye. There's a way to practice shoulder stand um, by holding your hips. So I'm going to show you that now. So we're going to roll up. You're going to hold on to your hips. Point your toes to the ceiling and squeeze your bottom. If you're not squeezing your bottom, you'll end up in this shape. Okay. So we push those toes up. Squeeze our bottoms to make our hips nice and flat. And then hold on and roll out. Okay. So the... Um, Position to hold on to your hips is like this, upside down. So we have thumbs facing towards the, our bellies and our fingers are wrapped around our back. So I'll show you that position on the floor. Okay, lay down and then remember it's kind of like this and you just hold on to your hips. So you're gonna push your toes up to the ceiling and then lift your hips up, okay? Squeeze your bottom, legs together. Make sure those eyes don't go past your toes. We don't want to see this bendy legs. We want those toes right up in the air. Make sure you tuck your elbows behind you. If your elbows are out to the side, there's nothing to support, okay? So push up, elbows close together, hold on to your hips. Have a little practice.